I'm Josh Destructor. Here are some examples of my work. Just so you know that listening to the advice I'm about to give won't be a complete waste of your time. Okay, first I recommend starting out with a very, very forgiving medium like pencil on paper. Um, until you've honed your own dexterity to a degree that you'll have the utmost confidence in every single stroke of your pen, pencil, brush, or whatever tool you've decided to work with, um, you're going to mess up. You're going to mess up. And having the option to erase, um, it's going to prevent um, you having to abandon entire illustrations that you've spent loads of time on already just because you came up with an unsavory detail at a critical juncture. Um, though they're quite a bit messier, charcoal pencils are also uh, very forgiving of the experimental artist. Um, regardless of your choice of tool, don't press too hard with it. Um, just as a painter does with a dry brush, what we call a feathering technique, um, to evenly blend different colors. Um, make light strokes, very light strokes, until you're comfortable enough with the image you've developed to commit to darker line work. That's the time to press harder. I recommend beginners uh, practice depicting objects or people, actually observing and recreating on the page. Um, try your very best to um, recreate the appearance of an arranged still life or a model that's posing for you or just somebody that you're observing in a public place. Um, the knowledge you'll accrue um, of how shadow and light forms the visible, that'll prove to be of immeasurable help whenever you decide to branch off into the more abstract. Um, also, you want to draw exactly what you see. Don't project. Um, most of the details of any illustration, especially portraits, depend on their position in relation to other details, so any major improvisations will throw the whole thing off. Um, aside from drawing objects or people, it's very helpful for a budding artist to try and recreate some of their favorite drawings by other artists. There's no shame in it. When I was a demented little kid, I spent many hours attempting to recreate the, uh, the characters of artists who worked for Mad and Cracked magazine, uh, as well as the, um, the superhero drawings um, that I saw on the pages of Marvel, DC, Dark Horse, and Image Comics. Um, there's a lot one can take from from emulating the work of those they admire. Uh, lastly, don't get into illustration um, for the sole purpose of attempting to impress a parent. That's what I did. And as my father and I grew further and further apart, I just stopped drawing altogether. I never capitalized off of what skills I developed, and now I'm just making YouTube videos here in my mom's basement. <laughs>